Hey guys, what up? Spiritmonger187 here. Welcome back for a new match of Shadow Era. Where we are playing Majija. And we're playing against the uh, Ethan Redthorn. And I guess this is the deck with a lot of allies, so that should be nice for us. Mm. What do we want to get rid of? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Fireball. Sander. Let's get rid of Brad Sander. And we'll just need to end up. So yeah, we're playing a Majija again. Last video was also with a Majija deck. And we've lost that match against the Praxis. That was not our ideal matchup, and I hope this one is. But it seems like he's playing with some allies, so let's drop out this one. We can uh, Forced to sacrifice his Twilight Herald next turn. This turn. So yeah, uh, with the Praxis deck, we placed it against the deck that uh, well, it was Praxis middle deck. So those decks normally don't, don't win by damage down. At least not with allies, but most of the time with uh, you're destroying your whole deck. And that's what he did. And there he swings something for one. He played a Twilight Warden. And the Twilight Warden is going to die soon. Mm, well, I'm not scared of this uh, trap, so... Let's give this Twilight Warden... Just nothing. Let's just give him a Fireball in the face. I'm not scared of the Twilight uh, guy at the moment. Unless there are three Twilight allies in this graveyard. Hmm. That's not fun. He's going to draw some cards with it. Okay. Plus one attack and ambush. So he can deal like 8 damage. That's a lot. Well, he doesn't use his ability, right? Nope. That's nice. Because those A damage will be pretty cru crucial. Crucial. Get rid of this one. Let's use our ability first and draw a card. Maybe we draw something better. We want that one gone. Let's play Voice of Winter. And then we face. Maybe we should. I should have attacked him with the Voice of Winter. I thought I was smart by using his ability first on guard. He did save the ability, but that now. There's a Leyline Nexus, but now it's a shiny Leyline Nexus. And let's play this tome. Draw a card. Tome of Fade. And let's just play that one. If we come in a real sticky situation. Twilight Opportunist. And we're going to skip this one. Play this one. And I think if we want, we want the durability of the artifact card for this arm. <coughs> and he can get plus 3 attack. Yeah. So he can damage me pretty massively. Hmm. Should have strike him down when I had the chance. He's now taking me down to 12. At least my weapon is, doesn't lose the ability. Well, that should be the last damage that he does. Because, yeah, he's playing with a, a hunter. So I expect more weapons, maybe. At least a grunt is double or something. So. We have to watch out for now. Okay, so that guy's frozen for one more turn. Let's get him the poison. And get him one more time. So it's two. Uh, yeah, I think we have to up our hand so we can turn and draw. Well, we just unturn it. 
we'll just save this one for. Yeah, if we get real, real bad. Or desperate or something. <laughs> okay, there comes another big one. Mm, let's get rid of this one. Oh, he can attack now. So that's nice. Let's give. to this guy, Twilight Champion, and consume fear this one. And let's just draw a card. Both of us. Another one. But I do think this these guys are going to get rid of this deck. Uh, there are not many situations where I really get some profit of it. And yeah, my opponent also benefits from it, so that's like a bad Santa you can use any, anywhere, any turn, but I'm not a fan of bad Santa either, so get rid of this one, draw a card. So we have a nice armor here. That will stop any weapon from this. This is anti turning. So he's taking damage each turn, and I have another card in my deck that set in play, so he's taking 2 damage each turn when I draw that card. I'm just going to draw now a card for this. This armor, that doesn't matter. Let's play some more safety here. Let's draw another card, he already got so many cards in his hand, it doesn't matter. And we like to keep this voice of window in play, so we'll just end to end there. So we're doing pretty well, but we took some damage in like mid game, early early mid game. Here come some more allies, all frozen. That, that, that are a lot. This violet herald, he's going to die for sure. Not the only one. It's going down. Mm. Yes, that fast. Let's get the clear damage this one. Our card. And a fire on the face. Let's draw a new card. And then that's it. And turn. Raise down at 15. He's almost at the same health as I am. Next turn we're going to draw some more cards with our tome. Let's get rid of this. Let's see if we can go. Let's breathe. Well, we don't want this one gone, so. Die. He can draw the card that he wants. I don't care anymore. Well, let's just destroy it. Man. And use this lightning strike in his face, take him down to 12. And we're just going to draw a card and some more of the time. That's Hannah. That's all. So yeah, he's now at a really nasty situation. He played so many allies trying to overrun me. Those allies just didn't stand any turns. They still have to bypass the snow sapphire. So yeah, this game turned out pretty well. I don't know if he was playing a good deck, but well, we kicked his ass. And uh, yeah, still uh, hope you liked this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and we'll see you next match. 
Cheers.